Hi, and welcome to Hardware Unboxed. I'm your host, Matt, and today I'll be taking you on a tour through Synology's RT1900AC router. Synology are best known for their network attached storage devices, but are now looking to break into the other side of the networking market with their new RT1900AC router. At first glance, it's certainly nothing remarkable. In fact, it looks pretty much like every other router made in the last 10 years. But as they say in the router game, it's what's on the inside that counts. Thankfully, Synology didn't just settle to pump out another clone router with a clunky, ugly and hard to use interface and attempt to purely compete on price. Hardware wise, it's up to all the latest home router standards, including dual channel wireless AC, boasting up to 1.9 gigabit combined throughput, along with the technologies like beamforming that it brings. There's four gigabit LAN ports, a WPS button, and a Wi-Fi on-off switch, LED indicators that you can schedule to switch off at night, and something else a little different, a USB 3 port and an SD card slot that provide NAS-like capabilities which really set this router apart. Synology has also looked to take its user-friendly NAS software and adapt it to the RT1900AC, and personally I think they've done a great job. The best way to give you guys an understanding of the UI is to take you on a personal tour, so strap yourselves in, we're going to 192.168.1.1 land. The physical setup is straightforward. Screw in the three Wi-Fi antennas, plug in the power and WAN cables, and press the power button, you should be good to go. The next step is to simply head to router.synology.com and you should be met with this installation wizard. Follow the simple step-by-step -step process and fill in your particulars and you should be ready to go. You can configure all of your Wi-Fi, security, and other network settings here in the network center where the common settings are easy enough to find, yet power users can still set up wireless access points in bridge mode, only allow specific MAC addresses to access the network, and you can even set up a 3G or 4G dongle if you don't have wired internet access. In the parental control section, you can block certain devices from accessing the internet during set hours, allowing you to block your kids' access during homework hours, for example, and you can also block your kids' devices' access to specific websites such as Facebook, including even the mobile app. You can even configure application layer QoS optimization, meaning you can assign how much bandwidth the device can consume when it's using a specific application, for instance, YouTube on your child's iPad or similar. Remote access to manage your router and the devices connected to it can be configured in the internet section, and Synology provides an optional Quick Connect ID service to make it simple. The status tab is attractive and useful, displaying real-time speeds, connected devices, and CPU and memory usage. If you want to know which device or application is using the most bandwidth, you can use the monitor under traffic control to view and record these statistics. The administration section is where you can schedule the LEDs to turn off at night time, which is particularly useful if you sleep in the same room as the router. And you can set up email, SMS, or even push service notifications, which connect to the DS router, iOS, and Android apps in the notification section. Security-wise, there's everything you'd expect from a router in this price range. WEP, all varieties of WPA, guest network capabilities, custom firewall, DOS protection, IP auto block and custom certification. There's also a security advisor that does things like scan for malicious programs and weak passwords and let you know of any security warnings. Now for the NAS-like features that really set this router apart. You can connect an external hard drive or plug in an SD card and access the files on it anytime and from anywhere with an internet connection from Windows or a Mac computer. You can also of course stream videos, music or images to any DLNA or UPnP devices like a smart TV and even configure which users can access certain folders on the storage devices. Wake on LAN is also supported. Finally, the RT1900AC takes care of all your server needs. You can enable an FTP server to remotely download large files, search for and download torrent files using the download station function, plug in a USB printer and have it act as a network printer, and you can even set up a VPN server, DNS server or radius server directly on the router, which is great for small to medium businesses. So as you can see, the RT1900AC is certainly feature rich and Synology's done a fantastic job of making the software attractive, easy to use and powerful. Hardware wise, there's not much to complain about, however I think it would have been great if there had been at least two USB 3 ports for those that want to connect either a printer and a hard drive or multiple hard drives. We're yet to get a solid MSRP, but I think the RT1900AC will provide pretty good value at around $200. When the pricing information does come out, I'll be sure to update the video description below. 
Thanks for watching another Hardware Unbox quick review. If you have any questions, be sure to head over to our forum at hardwareunbox.com. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.